Greetings, this is Ryan Peel, Philogram for Pioneer. Today I'm going to give a real quick update on some bean leaf beetle feeding and some early soybeans. As you're out scouting soybean fields for weeds, be also mindful of the soybean plants themselves as you're walking through there, looking for anything that looks odd. And as I was walking some fields the other day, I started seeing quite a few holes in them and some defoliation and then also seeing some beetles as in the picture below. As you start finding damage, then you just keep looking around and start assessing to see how bad the defoliation is and how widespread it is. As you can see from the couple pictures I've shown, we're getting a little bit more severe damage and we're also seeing some damage on some of the newer developing leaves. So what this tells me is these bean leaf beetles are actually coming and increasing their population rather than decreasing population. So it's definitely something we need to keep a close eye on as the season progresses. So a big key factor with these is knowing how much defoliation there is. So I found this chart here from the University of Minnesota Extension and I thought it did a really good job of showing the different levels of bean leaf beetle um, defoliation along with some other <clears throat> insects, but the key one would be the bean leaf beetle on the left and noting how much it is to really get to 30% uh, damage. So I mentioned 30% because you think about the growth stage of the beans, it needs to be at least 30% before you would even remotely consider making an application solely for the bean leaf beetles. Now, if you're already making a herbicide application, this might be something to consider throwing in. It makes the cost a whole lot cheaper of it. So let's just be scouting your fields and be looking to see what levels you're at and how, how much defoliation you are getting from them. For more information, Purdue has a really good article on the bean leaf beetle. You also feel free to reach out to your local Pioneer sales rep or territory manager or field agronomist and we'll all be more than happy to help you sort through these decisions. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.